Hi everyone, my name is Donna and welcome to my little corner of the world. I have um, a bunch of projects to show you that I've been working on in March. So I have a few finished items and then several things I've been working on. So I will show you what those are. First I'll start with, um, I finished my afghan. Um, it was um, Ophelia Talks. O to Anna Afghan. And I've got stuff piled all around me, so I'll be reaching to get things. Um, but this is my first one. And let me show you what yarn I used. It's a Style Craft Special Dove DK weight yarn. And the color I used is Meadow. A real pretty green color and I used oh probably about nine skeins of it and here is my afghan oh, it's upside down <laughs> so there was five sections so the top some blocks, a heart in the middle, and then some more blocks, and blocks. A lot of um, double crochet and fillet stitches. Very easy to do. And then between each, each section she had um, like a little divider section like these rows in here but most of them were the same but some were a little different there's one right there divider section and then the border I did different um, she had like some big chain stitches and tassels and things like that. I didn't really want that on mine. So the length of it was um, long enough for me. So on the top and the bottom I just did single crochets. And then to turn my corners I did um, like two single crochets and then a half double crochet and then two double crochets so it starts out small and then you get that height so you can do the sides and on the sides I just did a row of double crochet and then I did a row of she calls it kisses stitch but it's like a cross stitch and then a double crochet and then a fillet and then another row looks like almost a half double crochet I did on that last row might have been a double. I don't know. Anyway, so that one's done. So I can um, start back working on my Janie Crow afghan. So I can work on that next. And of course I wrote it in my journal. I love these journals. My crochet projects. And this one is specifically for my afghans. Uh, but I made some notes in here. And then I put a label and the, the piece of the yarn. And then I will put a picture in here. So I got that done. And the next thing is this is a sewing project. I had this pink mesh in my stash. I thought, what am I going to do with that? So I made it into, I had this real cool, it's kind of thick fabric. So I made a tote bag. And then I added buttons here, here, a couple on this side where I attached the handles to kind of cover up the stitching there. So nice big bag. This would be good bag for like on the beach or nice big project. 
And then I made, I had some of this Team Spirit Chunky Yarn. And one colorway is orange and navy. And the other colorway is green gold. So I made some hats. And this is my go-to hat pattern. So I did all of these in one evening, because they, except for one, because they work up very quickly. So I made some hats. And I had three skeins of each color. So I got three hats out of each one. And then here's the green gold. This is a number six bulky yarn, so it works up very quickly. Two, three hats. And then I had a little bit left of each one, so I made a headband. I need to put my buttons on. I need to find some buttons, some yellow ones or something. But I made some headbands, and I have a tutorial on how to do those. So I have that one, and I have this one. And the button goes right here. Put the button on there. So anyway, that's what I got out of those three skeins of yarn, and this is how much yarn I had left. Those are in my big tote. So I got those done, except for sewing the buttons on. As soon as, as, soon as I find some to match, I will get those done. So I got those done, and oh, more hats. Um, this is a pattern by Bag o Day. And it's called like crochet hat, something like that. But you use the Red Heart Hopscotch yarn. And I had two skeins of one color and one skein of another color. So out of, here's the hat. It's a cute little, these are very quick to make too like a v-stitch and then you do some rows of single crochet and then a little ruffle on the bottom. So I had two skeins of this color so I was able to get three hats out of this one and I still have a little bit of yarn left but I will put that in with my scraps. And then the other one I only had one skein so I was only able to make one hat and part of another. So I will find some this turquoise color, purple or something, and finish it off. Oh, yep. Oh, here it is. Bag o' day. If you can see that. That's the name of the hat. And what I do, when I see a pattern or something that I like, I write it down like this on a little piece of paper, and then I stick it in, I stick it in with my yarn, my skein of yarn. I just slip it in there. And that way, when I pull out that skein of yarn, I'm like, oh yeah, I wanted to make this with it. So I kind of, I try to keep track if I see something I like, or if I have that yarn. You know, she used this Pacific yarn um, for those hats, and I, and I knew I had some of that yarn, so I just wrote down the pattern and stuck it with that yarn. Okay. So, items I've been working on. For my, this is my Mary Maxim monthly kit for... February. This was the pattern you were supposed to make. A hat, 
some gloves and I didn't really feel like making that and I think I got I think it was like six skeins of yarn so I found this pattern in this magazine right here crochet today And I found this pattern. So I was like, ooh, that'll that'll work good with that pattern. So this is what I made. It's not done yet. It's real floppy, but it's that basket. There's the bottom. So it will be, it's pretty big. So that will be fun to sit on the floor and keep a project in. I do need to make the handles yet. And then I'm going to make, I think I'm going to either order like something like this, one of these little totes to slip inside of it. Or I might just make something. I'll get some real heavy-duty fusible interfacing and I might make something, but we'll see how ambitious I get. But that one, it's pretty well done, like I said, except for the handles. And I have some yarn left. I got enough yarn left to make the handles. So I was working on that. And then I have Mary Maxim kit for March. And this is what we were supposed to make. It makes two afghans, two baby afghans. A little pink one and then a blue one. But they're really small. Here's the sizes. Look there. They were kind of small, and I'm like, eh, I don't want to make two small blankets, so I thought I'm just going to make one big one. And we got six skeins of yarn and just my stripe by Lion Brand, and two of each color two Island Punch, two a blue raspberry. And two of berry blue. This is what they look like. So here's my hook. I'm using a K, K hook. So I'm kind of, like I said, I'm following the pot pattern, but I am just um, making one big afghan. Or it's not going to be big, but big baby afghan. And it's just a moss stitch is pretty much what it is. And you're doing it in a square. So I put the pink colorway in the middle. And then I put the blues next. So that is what that is looking like. And then I have two, two stains left which the border, I don't know if you can see it, but the border is kind of a textured border. Front post double crochets, I think, and maybe some back posts. Anyway, I will probably do the border like that with those um, last two skeins. So that is that one. Working on that. And then I've been working on my colorful granny squares. And these, I think this pattern was Ophelia Talks pattern. 
it, and it's, see they look like this. And I got this yarn at the Dollar Tree quite a while ago, just yarn, Premier. And I got the white, the yellow, blue, green, purple, orange, and pink. And then I had black in my stash, but I am making tote bags. This is one. It's pretty good size. That's the front. And then I did granny squares up the side and the back. So it's three across and three down. And then I just did a little shell stitch border for the top. And then I still need to make the handle yet and I'm going to line it with This fabric. Got this on clearance at Walmart and it just matches perfect. And I think I have enough yarn and squares to make three of these, three tote bags. So I've been working on that. And my granny squares, I'm doing the join as you go, which I love. It makes it go really quick. So if you can see that with the black, but um, there's several tutorials out there on how to do that. So I've been working on those, and let me see what else. I've been doing a little bit of cross stitching. I'll show you something real quick. Uh, I I am been working on my quilt blocks. Um, April, I don't, I'm kind of behind, I need to get a couple more done, but then the month of April, I want to put the quilt together. So I've been working on those, but I don't have those with me. And I don't have the pattern for this, but it came out of a Stony Creek magazine. It, winter of 2015. But I thought for Easter, I had a lot of this done and I didn't have much to go. I'm like, uh, need to finish that. I still need to put, I need to outline the flowers a little bit. And then there's some words that go over here, which shouldn't take too long. So, isn't that pretty? And I, net, I have enough fabric that I could, I could make another one if I want, but... I don't know. Got to get this one done first. So, let's see. What else? I think that's about it for my projects. Um, I did buy some things off Amazon. I bought me a ring light. Because that seems to be the popular thing now. But I tried it last night and it, it has such a glare on my glasses. So... I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I've tried several different things, so, but it'll be good for tutorials when I, um, you know, show you how to do some things. It'll be good for that. And then I ordered one of these neck, neck lights. Goes around your neck. And three settings on each side. So that'll be nice uh, when we travel, things like that. And then it has a little cord to charge it. So I got that. And then here's, oh, here's my ring light. This is what I bought. I just bought kind of the little cheapy ones just to try it out. So that's the ring light I got. And, oh, and I want to show you this, too. I, lo I love these. I found this at a Goodwill. And um, it I think it's like a makeup bag, or you put your, I don't know, toiletries in there. This one happens to be a Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> but isn't that cool? 
And I love it when I find these because it, when you open it up, see there's like two plastic clear um, sides to it. So you can put your projects in here, your cross stitch or your embroidery or whatever, and then it each side has a zipper, so it zips up. So you put them in there, and then there's a zipper on the outside, where, so you can zip it up. And it has the handles. Anyway, just perfect for projects, I think. Small projects. So, I got that. I love it. Alright, I think that might be it this time. So, thank you so much for watching. The sun is coming around. <laughs> and um, hopefully I will be back soon. So everybody take care. Bye.